Uh, moving on to the feature race of the afternoon, that's Saturday at Cambridge. It is the Trotters Flying Mile and looking at I Can Do Sit, of course, last year's Trotter of the Year, reigning into Dominion champion. We're looking at his win of the Lyle Creek Stakes last start at Alexandra Park. This is back on the 9th of December and he's currently in front. Richard is in the one by one as they swing off the back. Solvent T3 back on the mark is from Faye Annie, Moment of Truth. And back last of all here is Springfield Hero. Inside the three quarters and 130 and two, it's been truly run. Up to the corner they come, 250 metres to go. The leader is I Can Do it from Leighton H on the outside. Now Peely, now it is uh, Springfield Hero uh, down the outside. Now coming after them is Springback Richard. And right through on the very inside on the NRM passing lane now is Radon. It's still I Can Do it. Look at Sovereignty stomping home and on the inside, Radon. I Can Do it. I Can Do it. Did it again. Photos for second and third between Sovereignty and Radon. Nice video to look at there from the Lyle Creek Stakes at Alexandra Park. Radon and Sovereignty getting back to some form of old in that last start, Craig. Yeah, good to get Sovereignty back in form, wasn't it, Jess? An eye-catching run out wide and hitting the line uh, very well. So he's a chance, but unfortunately he's drawn at barrier eight, which is not ideal over the mile, and uh, he's going to have to do plenty of work in the running. I can do it. Well, he's unbeaten at Cambridge, Jess. He's had two starts on the track, two wins. Lovely draw, barrier four. Uh, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. Track record run last start, uh, 2.43. He's just on the zone at the moment, and he's going to be very hard to beat. I think the interesting runner is going to be from the inside. Number one, the fiery ginger, Alan Clark's headed up north with this bloke and I think he'll hit one spot Jess and that'll be to the front and he'll try and run it into the ground he had uh, success in doing that at Addington two starts ago betting Clover Dawn and his run at Methven uh, over the mile last start was uh, very very good of course running second uh, behind Clover Dawn who turned the tables on him uh, a week later but uh, he's going to make an interesting uh, the fiery ginger because he, he runs along in front and uh, the driver's always got the aggressive approach so you don't get to the front very easily and uh, he makes it an exciting contest on his back may well be Radon who follows him through may get the economical trip throughout so he's going to be a player as well and then we've got horses like Stylish Monarch and Springbank Richard who've been performing okay very good field uh, one of the better fields I've seen for quite some time $40,000 stake tracked at a great race and again it is the fourth leg of the quaddy you'd have to say I can do it to one to beat but I don't think, don't think he's going to get it his own way because just the way the race has panned out and the barrier draws it's going to make for a very exciting contest